I got asked um like this uh, person called uh, seven eight zero six Snowball SM asked me um uh like what was um the attitude you have to have to own a rot wheel uh rot wheels are a very um I use this term but uh strong uh, strong wheeled um you have to go through some intense training like the first day you get this you have to go you really have to start training from the first day you get this dog um I hate to do that like, the first day you get this dog you have to train um you have to train it all the time and it's not for everyone it's not like, like that relaxed breed it's got a lot of energy and if you don't let out some of that energy it can become aggressive um and stuff like that and they are very powerful dogs like you can't mess around with this breed so the attitude you have to have is for one um a very outgoing attitude you have to own this dog you have to look at it as a companion um not as a guard dog you have to be very you have to be very strong willed you have to know what you want um and not let your dog get ahead of you like um like how do I put it let's say you're training your dog um to stay um your dog your rottweiler might say um like your it might take your rottweiler days like days to even start to do this but you have to be persistent you can't just say it takes him a week to like to stay you can't say within three days no nah, that's it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna train him on stay no you have to train him every single day to learn stay or it'll never get learned um but that being said they, they are very smart dogs um, and they normally learn very quickly if trained the right way which with every dog you can train them a different way um, so that's really based on how you look at your dog if you know your dog um, so what I suggest is try some different training methods see which one works the best for you um, but that being said Please don't do shock collars, nothing like that, because I mean, my thought that just makes a dog more aggressive. Um, it's like smacking your dog across the nose when it does something wrong. Um, but yeah, I'll just recap that they are very, very strong dogs. You have to be very aware of this. And if you're not, you know, you're just not going to get anywhere. Um, so you just have to be very strong willed and um, very persistent like any dog um, you have to know what you're getting into before you buy this dog you have to do lots of research about it um, what it needs like the, like the vet care like the big dogs they need heaps of vet care and like I said if you've owned a big dog which I strongly recommend before getting this dog then you would know that so I don't really have to. So I don't really have to say that. If if you've done the right thing and and um, owned another and own a, another larger dog before you've owned this dog. Um, um. So yeah. So I think that's I think that's it. Um. Uh, I hope I've answered your questions. Um. I'm sorry if I wasn't very clear on that. If you want, you can email me. Uh, you can email my uh, YouTube channel and I will answer your questions if there are any, if there are any questions that I've left unclear or unanswered. Um, so yeah, so uh, thanks for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I recommend that you subscribe. And um, yeah, I've got my new uh, internet. Uh, I've got my new web page. Um, I'll leave that down in the description. And yeah, thanks again. Uh, See you guys later.